Stuart Nash, the former Labour Minister, embroiled in scandal earlier this year, stood down from Cabinet, caught emailing donors with the details of confidential Cabinet discussions. A report into the investigation of the former Minister is due out today, but News Hub political editor Jenna Lynch has exclusive details just for AM this morning, and she's with us live from Parliament. Jenna, welcome to the show. Good to have you here. What can you tell us about this investigation? Yes, the News Hub understands that the Cabinet Office investigation has turned up another donor issue with Stuart Nash, but actually the inclusion of it in the report was disputed by another senior minister. This Cabinet Office investigation has been going through years and years of communications with Stuart, between Stuart Nash and his donors to see if there were any other issues following the launch of it after he uh, communicated that sensitive Cabinet information to a couple of them during the COVID-19 crisis. The issue that they have turned up relates to an appointment made. Now, this person was one of Stuart Nash's friends and donors who was appointed to a government advisory board role. Stuart Nash, we understand, recused himself from the decision making around that appointment, but there was an issue raised around, subsequently, as part of the investigation, around reporting lines and uh, basically who had the ability to hire and fire this person who had responsibility over their ongoing employment. Employment. Now, we understand that a senior minister has gone into bat for Stuart Nash, saying that they understood the reporting lines were a shared responsibility and that that, ma that conflict was managed appropriately. Do we know who that other minister is? Uh, yet to be revealed. Hopefully we'll find out later uh, this after, uh, later in the day when that full report is released. But one other thing I've, abs uh, I've managed to get my hands on is some of the communications that Stuart Nash had uh, or Stuart Nash's office had. You remember part of one, one of his indiscretions before he was eventually sacked from Cabinet was having uh, communications with an immigration official over a case trying to advocate for a doctor to stay uh, within the Hawke's Bay region. Now, I've had a look at some of the communications that have gone back and forth between his office, immigration officials, and the associate immigration minister. It shows them following the rules and, and advocating really hard for this person. Everything is done to the letter, but they just cannot get anything done. Those communications show the associate immigration minister, who's job it is to review those cases if it comes to a ministerial level, just basically saying, that their office saying basically there is nothing we can do and it's only after that point that Stuart Nash uh, called up that immigration official. Mm, right, saying if there was something that they could do. So Jenna, let's just, to recap what you have just told us, this new information this morning for people at home who might be wondering actually is, the, is this a serious thing? You've got a minister who's got a mate and a donor appointed to a government advisory job, taxpayer-funded job. You want to make sure your minister isn't involved in that decision-making process to appoint the person, and, and you said that he was recused from doing that. But then it's the management of this person, ongoing management of this person, that's in question. Is that right? That's correct. So the person, as you said, was one of Nash's, what I understand, good friends um, and a, a donor to him as well. He was put forward as a candidate for a role on a government advisory board, so basically a group of people that advises um, government. I think it was some kind of business board that he was appointed to someone that uh, advised government what's going out on, out on the ground out there. So when that decision came to Cabinet, Stuart Nash said, hey, look, I've got a, from what I understand, Stuart Nash said, hey, look, I've got a conflict of interest here and recused himself from from the decision making. Now that is what you need to do if you have a conflict of interest with the cabinet. He has followed the rules with that on the face of it. But what's happened since then is obviously that person has got the role and the reporting lines of who, who that person reports to seemed a little bit mucky, a little bit blurry if you like. Um, it wasn't it wasn't clear whether Stuart Nash had to had the ability 
ability to sack this guy if he needed to or whether it was another minister's responsibility. Now, the other minister um, of, has... Uh, there was another minister involved in the appointment of that person because Stuart Nash has recused himself from it. And from what I understand, yeah, another minister has come in and said, look, from my understanding, there was a joint responsibility over this. I'm not sure whether it should have been identified as part of this uh, rule-backing probe that, they, that the Cabinet Office has done into him. OK. Um, Jenna, when will we know more? When is the report due out? Just sometime today. Yeah, I'm, I'm told. Uh, I'm told supposed to be out this morning, but as these things, as things, these things go with Friday uh, government dumps of information, it can it can be 10 a.m., it can be 1 p.m. Um, hopefully, uh, the government gets it out before the prime minister is due to do his daily uh, media conference, so that we can ask some questions around it. Yeah, well, that would be helpful, wouldn't it, Jenna? Uh, News Hub political editor Jenna Lynch with those exclusive details for us here on AM this morning. Morning, 14 after 6.